Good morning everyone, Titus here with a Master Duel update video. I was uploading my Ghost from the Past opening that was requested from some of the people on the channel and my Discord and my Twitter are going insane because we have a huge data mine leak for um, just a massive, massive update for Master Duel, I gotta say, this is the step in the right direction. Konami had me super nervous with how they just kind of let it fall by the wayside and kind of just not give it a huge update. And it was, it was worrisome when they wanted to make this the platform for online dueling and for having tournaments and all this stuff and it just was just an unfinished game. Um, but now we have, thanks to uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Guide, it's Brazos, Brazos HD. Um, you probably know him from Duel Link videos, if you've seen Duel Link videos. But uh, he runs this Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel um, Twitter site. This is where all the Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTubers basically get all of their information from. Um, it's very, very helpful. Go follow him um, either on Twitter or over on YouTube as well. He does have a YouTube channel. Um, but we have, we have a lot. Uh, so we get a new UI for for missions and for notifications. So hopefully that means I was trying to click on the Master Duel X. Hopefully that means just a smoother interface in general. Um, but this is gonna be this is gonna be now split up into daily missions, your logins, some dual live missions, your overall like lifetime missions, which is like the second. When you have it now, you have the login dailies, and then you have the and then we have a campaign one, which is kind of. Um, some of the animations that are happening look just gorgeous. Um, Lightning Storm will have an animation and it'll zap across the field. Super cool. I like this. I like that they're going to be adding a bunch of these. So yeah, we have an update saying we have some of your favorite spells, traps, and even monsters get new animations. So this is great. This is this is fantastic. There's a bunch of new assets here saying um, we, we're going to have an attribute. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, these are the upcoming events. We have Fusion Festival, which we knew was going to happen. Synchro was was the last one. We already had Xzeeds. Um, and then we're going to have Classic, which probably means GOAT format. Interesting. I wonder what Classic means. Because Classic to most people means GOAT format. And GOAT format's kind of a big deal to a lot of people. That could be really cool. That's a really cool. Then a Link Festival, that's just gonna be all Tri Brigade. This is gonna be all Tri Brigade. It's gonna be, I mean, Tri Brigade and like, Code Talkers, Salmon Great, and um, what's the other, what's the, uh, what's the, uh, what's the, uh, what's the, Attic Mister, Attic Mister is the other one. Um, they're gonna have a Pendulum Festival, uh, monster type is interesting. I wonder if this means you could only have a single monster type in a in a deck, and then again, this is just going to be like cyber. It's going to be the it's just going to be a giant cyber one, or it'll be flunder if flunder's coming out soon because they're wing beasts. And then attribute is kind of nice. That's kind of cool, um, but we'll see what happens there. Um, we do got the leak for the cybernetic structure deck. This is the, the, the structure deck that came out that has like the cyber dark support with the cyber dark dragon. Um, and then the cyber dark end dragon thing. It's pretty cool. It's a cool little structure deck. The reason it was so good in the TCG is because it had an infinite impermanence reprint. It's not going to have that in this. So, eh, I mean, eh. if you want to play cyber darks, this is awesome. Like, I mean, we're getting caught up, which is nice. Um, that's the that's the really good thing is we're just we're just getting caught up. That's the the big deal. This is this is big deal. This is a very big deal. If you don't have your infinite permanence yet, which I was silly and crafted mine, but I'll go ahead and get this anyway, so I can I can decraft one of them and get this pack. But it'll be similar to the Ash Blossom and the Solemn Judgment and the Lightning Storm pack. Is an infinite permanence plus ten packs, and it'll probably still be the discounted eight hundred gems rather than the a thousand gems. So for those of you who don't have this yet. Get this, this is gonna be wonderful for players. I think this is this is fantastic. Um, then we have new dual fields. 
And these look great. This one looks really good. The snow one looks cool. The cracked stone. These look great. Now we have a reason to have all these assets, which is wonderful. I think this is super good for the game. I think adding all these cosmetics that weren't there before is super, super important for people to kind of show off. They really like having these things that show off their game, which is cool. I like this. This is fantastic. We'll, we'll get to some of the other stuff here in a second. Um, so more update details. They've Oh, they've published the details. Okay. So adjusted and fastened certain visual effects during duels. Wonderful. I'm tired of looking at animations. This is this is great. Added card activation animations during duels. Okay. Added the feature to batch generate cards not owned. Oh. So if you make a deck, is there a and you don't have like say you don't have like nine cards and they're a bunch of rares and they just have a button that says batch generate. Ooh, that's helpful. That's really helpful. That's just really helpful. If you have cards that you didn't own last time you saved the deck, the own status will automatically be updated. This is this is great. Oh, I can't highlight it. This is great. Because before you had to like find the card and put it back in. And also if it was a different rarity than the one that you dragged in there, because usually you drag in the common. If you got one that's a different rarity and you dragged it in, um, now it'll actually update and tell you that you owned it, which is great. Uh, improved solo mode screen, okay. Mission screen, we saw that. Dual room screen, I wonder how that's gonna happen. I wonder how that's gonna happen. Cause so, like the dual room was kinda, it functioned, but it wasn't that good. Issued patches, applied after update, okay. Card names and text for display. The scroll bar of pendulum effects cannot be used with a controller. So they fixed that. Okay. My card selection, blah, blah, blah. Card, okay. Okay, this is just some small fix stuff. Okay, that's cool. Um, all right. We have new solo modes. Ooh, so we have the Orcus stuff. Six Sam, Spiral. I'm assuming this is, a, this is Evil Eye. I think this is Evil Eye. Okay, so we have, that's pretty good. Danger, Ancient Gear versus Heroes. Okay, Sac Sacred Phoenix. And then, I don't know. But the, okay, so over here we have Orcus, Dream Mirror, UA, Six Sam, Danger, Neptis, SP, Deck Challenge 2, GX, and Dual Strategy 2. Oh, this is the GX strategy. And this is dual strategy. Okay, where's the UA? Oh, this is UA, not Spiral. My bad. This is UA, not Spiral. I'm silly. I'm silly. Okay, we got more accessories. So yeah, we have a maid pack, a UA pack, a dragon pack thing. Um, World Legacy, Orcus, Dream Mirror, Danger. The green and the red, these just look really good. This is great. This is super good. This is super great. Um, so they think that these will be given out when you complete the solo mode, which I think is really cool. Cause like for solo mode, the reason to complete solo mode is just to get a couple gems and then get a card at the end. But it's like, if you have to complete solo mode to get, to get like cosmetics, then it's much more in much, uh, well, mm, maybe to me at least, it's more of an initiative to finish these because I get these card protectors rather than get like 200 gems, which the 200 gems are nice, but you get more gems from doing rank duels than you do from the solo mode. So it's like kind of okay. I have to spend a bunch of time playing a deck I don't like just to get 200 gems or 100 gems where this is like, okay, I actually have to play the deck and learn the deck to get these cool cosmetics to show off stuff. I like that about, I mean, like Yu-Gi-Oh cards like, Yu-Gi-Oh players like shiny stuff. And so having shiny sleep protectors is really, really nice. Um, new profile icons. This is neat. Um, I know a lot of people like this customization. These don't cost very many gems. So this is cool. We've got a Colossus one in here, a Rika Queen, Bigfoot, um, Tenyi, Nessie, Orcus, Orcus, UA, Fallen of Albaz. Ooh, Fallen of Albaz. Um, Dragon Maid, VFD, 
Very cool. And then we got some new um, new mates. Um, one of the Dragon Maid mates. A little scapegoat. Oh, and a, a Bitron, right? Isn't this Bitron? Escape it. Yep, and Bitron. Yep, okay, cool. Very cool. So new mates is also good. Um, this will be for Dual Pass 3 and 4. Interesting, interesting. Oh, okay, this is some... Um, this will be interesting. So these are coming. These have animations. These have data leaked animations. Enchantress. Oh no, Sorcel, DP, Flu on Dereese, the Punk cards. Sue Ship, new ship. The Evil Eye Twin, Master Flare Hyperion, Boral Code. Wow, so these are already, data these animations are already in the game, but the cards aren't in there yet. So when are we getting the cards? Only three cards in this image are coming in the new selection pack for perspective. Okay, so what's the new selection pack? All right, so the new selection pack will be released on May 9th. Um, so Monday, Monday. The Fusion Potential Selection Pack reprint, reprinting key Fusion's base strategies will be released then. Oh wow! Okay. So this is the this is the Fusion Pack. You have you have Dual Fist. You have the Fluffle stuff. You have some Predator Plant stuff. Um, but then this is the this is the Selection Pack. Refined Blades. Oh man, Sword Soul DPE. Oh, the meta is about to change. Strap yourselves in, guys. The meta is about to change. A bunch of new mates got leaked. Ooh, Gazelle! <gasps> gazelle! Oh, I'm very excited about that. I want the because I want the Salamangrit Gazelle. These are awesome. This is wonderful for the game. Stratos. A shard. A gem. <laughs> I guess the island, whatever the island card is, I can't remember. It's it's in defense. Um, Ninja Skull Servant. Instant Fusion for some reason. The Jackalope is neat. Karibo, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, more stuff. More stuff. This is great. This is wonderful. There's the animation for DPE, for Adventure, for Exo Sisters, Sword Soul, Flounderies, Punk. Magic Key, I believe, something like that. And then Boral Code rather than Boral N, Sue Ship. Very cool. Hyperion. Evil Twin. Very nice. Okay, so Data Mine leaked. A new selection pack coming soon featured the Sword Soul and Punk archetypes, as well as the long awaited Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. Slay your opponents with some. Okay, so someone in my. In my Discord, posted what the what is in the selection pack. So we'll take a look at that, and then we'll be done for for this video. But this is apparently what is coming in the selection pack. Let's uh, let's zoom out a little bit here. So this is good for the game. This is really good for the game. We have the Sword Soul archetype: Moie, Taya, Longyun. Emergence plus the synchros. This is really, really good for the game. Sword Soul will be a massive deck that will be played. Oh, and Incredible Ecclesia. This will be. Oh, and uh, over here we have the whatever the mountaintop card is. It's it's really needed. So Tinny Sword Soul is about to be very, very meta, very, very quickly. It's a very good, very consistent, very strong deck. Prepare to see it a lot. It's very good in the TCG right now. It's just going to be even better in Master Duel because we have Maxi. We have those types of things. But who knows? Maybe Maxi kind of shuts the deck down. I mean, they can really they can end on only doing like three summons by going into their their uh, Shishao and then ending their turn and having a bunch of trap cards or a bunch of hand traps in hand. So maybe they don't really care about Maxi. I guess we'll have to find out and see. Another thing for the Despia players is Brandon and Red, Masquerade Dragon. These two cards are gonna be really, really nice. Um, but just specifically Brandon and Red is gonna be very, very helpful. Um, along with Incredible Ecclesia because Incredible Ecclesia summons Fallen of Alvaz, but also Ad Libidum. This card's really good because you use it with the Brandon and Red. Um, 
it will summon back another fusion. Um, we don't have Guardian Chimera yet or any of the Fallen of Albaz stuff, but Brandon and Red will be really helpful for those players who are playing Despia and who want Despia to be a little better. We will play it on the channel, don't worry. I do really like this card. We will open this pack. I want to play Sword Soul. I'm a little sad Flunderies is not in here, um, but that's okay. Um, but here's, here's the boy. DPE, prepare to see this card all the time. Invoke Shadal Dogmatica gets a very big power boost with this card because they can play this card so easily um, in the deck. So this, prepare for that to be a thing. Basically every deck is gonna run this. Phantom Knights is about to get really, really scary because we have um, Artifact Dagda to set Scythe, summon DPE, DPE effect, pop Scythe on your opponent's turn and they can't summon from the extra deck. So Called by the Grave is gonna be necessary. DD Crow might be necessary. Ghost Bell might be necessary. Prepare to play those types of hand traps. As the deck, as the cards come out, I might do a video on how to counter Scythe Lock because there's gonna be a lot of it, a very large amount of Scythe Lock. Um, yeah, Destiny, Destiny Hero Denier with Malicious is gonna be a really interesting um, build here with Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. So you'll see that's gonna be it for this quick video. I'm sorry, it's a little rushed, it's a little chaotic, it's a little sporadic, but I wanted to get this out. I just woke up, I'm, I, I mean, I'm, I, I did this before, I'm supposed to be logged in for work, so I'm rushing through before I can get through. If you like the content, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We do a bunch of stuff, Master Duel videos, pack openings, a couple local deck profiles, the works. Thanks everyone, and happy dueling. I'll see you next time.